first chef into the kitchen is Johnny Mountain from Preston. He had a disastrous day yesterday when his gamble to use an unusual mix of ingredients failed to pay off. The starter, the fish course, they were a bit quirky, I know that. But now the main course, this should show what I'm about. Good morning. Morning, sir. Sammy, what are we doing today? Today we're cooking Gloucestershire Old Spot pork belly with smoked venison, cauliflower cheese, and uh, goose fat potatoes. So it's smoking this? I'm, I'm going to smoke this. I'm going to sear it first, and then I'm going to smoke it. I don't want it to take on too much of the smoke flavour. To me, this looks like the main ingredient. Is it the pork, or is it this? Or it's a, a combination of both, because we've got two things going on here. The, the fattiness of the pork, and then on the opposite scale of it, smoked venison. Lean. It's very much, exactly. Is this something that you'd love to see Prince Charles eating? at the banquet. I think you would love something like this. It's a good combination yeah. of, of products. You know, I think it's a great dish. So Johnny must strive for absolute perfection in today's dish, marrying both pork and venison, which he'll smoke, and serve with cauliflower cheese and goose fat potatoes. I think Johnny really needs to stay focused. If he doesn't get this next dish right, and he gets a low marking from me, um, he, he's on his way out the door. Next up is Lancashire lass Lisa Allen. In joint lead with Aidan for the second day running, she's desperate to push ahead in today's main course. I'm level pegging at the moment with Aidan, so I think today's a really important day for me to try and get those extra points so, to secure my place into Friday. Right, tell me what you are cooking today, then. I'm going to do salt marsh lamb with um, sweetbread, woodland mushrooms and sorrel. OK, sweetbreads. Yeah, I love sweetbreads. So I'm, I'm just going to lightly poach them and then caramelise them. OK. And serve them with the salt marsh lamb. I find salt marsh lamb a little bit different to the normal, to the normal, normal lamb, grazing yeah. lambs because of where it eats. Um, I think what drew me to it is the fact that with my fish was from Morecambe Bay, yeah. these actually graze on the same part of the lands as well, so I thought it was really interesting yeah, yeah. to see as much yeah. as I could get from that area. Lisa's choice of salt marsh lamb from near her historic estate means once again she's sticking to the brief of using local ingredients in her dish. Very interesting to see how tough the lamb is, how tender it is. What I'm looking for is the melt in the mouth experience with a beautiful flavour. Finally, it's Aidan Byrne. After scoring well for the first two courses, he's confident his next dish will be the one that sets him apart from the opposition. I would say my main is probably one of my strongest dishes, yeah, absolutely. And I think, uh, if anything, it will get me in the lead, I think. This looks good. Thanks very much. Tell me what it is. So it's old gross middle white pork with broad beans and mushrooms. So we've got a fantastic piece of pork. Absolutely stunning. Melting your mouth. What are you there. doing with this? We're going to roast it over some bark in this heavy, heavy pan here, which gives it a really... It, I wouldn't go for, as far as to say a smoky flavour. It's almost like a, an, almost like an earthy flavour, the, yeah. the, the smell that comes yeah. off this as we roast it. Johnny, you've got a bit of pork on your dish. Aidan, you've got pork. Yeah, yeah. He's I mean, using you... middle, I'm using belly. Belly, obviously, just a little bit further yeah, down. Yeah, yeah. Are you two going to be smoking at the same time? You never know. <laughs> like Johnny, Aidan's also chosen to incorporate pork and a smoking technique. But can he combine the elements to make a complete dish? Has he chosen the right cut of meat? Is it going to be beautiful and moist? Is the crackling going to be crackling? Can I taste the bark and the, the, that he's got cooking with it? A lot of things going on there, so I'm looking for a lot, and I'm going to be ultra-critical with him today. I'm really going to be on his case.